guys, this is Avid Scale Modeler 77, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Well, here is something I painted up yesterday in one day. It's a, a V1 flying bomb. It's from a World War II miniatures game. It's kind of a tabletop game, 15 millimeter. Uh, and basically, I've been waiting to paint this for like two years or so. I've had it, but I never got around to painting it. But I finally decided to do it yesterday. Since I don't have any models going right now, I'm going to wait till January 4th for the group build to start. And that group build is actually going to run from January 4th to April 4th. I said March 4th, thinking it was three months, but it's January 4th to April 4th now. So hopefully I'll get that message. But yeah, I just basically painted this thing up in one day. The main color on the launch rail is Tamiya Khaki. Hand painted, it's the acrylic. And again, I didn't have a single problem with it. I think it went on even better, better than Model Master. So that was pretty sweet to see. The green is uh, Model Master Green Drab, and the brown is Model Master Leather. I'm not a big fan of the brown. It's not really brown enough for me. It's too light, but I'm just working with it. I'm not too mad about it. It looks good. And right here is the bomb itself, the flying bomb. It's The upper side is RLM 71, and then the bottom is RLM 76. So this is what it looks like now. I just did some light weathering on it, put some oil stains right here. You might be able to see them. But just some light oil stains, nothing too much. And again, that's for Flames of War game. And I want to show you my collection that I have for the game right now. Right here are some Americans. And you just get these guys, uh, they're all separate on a sprue or something, and you just paint them up by hand or spray paint. But that's just a crew right there. Then here's an artillery piece I got. Still don't know how to use the artillery pieces because the rules are super complicated and you just kind of have to make up your own sometimes to make it, you know, easy to follow. But it's still a fun game. Let's see, here's some artillery. Some t 3476s right here. And then some Shermans. And some Sextons. And there's a Stuart right there. And this stuff's actually pretty expensive, I think. I think a, uh, a whole thing of American infantry just sets like 35, 40 bucks. So it's, this stuff's not cheap from where I get them. Unfortunately, the hobby store that sold them went out of business like a year or two ago, so we can't buy any more except if we order them. But here's the Germans. They were probably my favorite because they have all this stuff on them. And these things are really fun to paint. I believe these are the old Flames of War figures when they used to be uh, made out of metal. And since then they've changed to a plastic, which is fine. I don't have any problem with that. Some Russians right now. These are the guys I like to play with just because I like them. They're not very good in the game because they're conscripts, so you have to roll a pretty high number to um, get a hit. But I like them. I think they're pretty sweet. This is a Model Master Dark Earth, I think, for the uniforms. It's kind of a dark tan. Not sure if it's right, but whatever. Then here are some German uh, half tracks, Stoogies, and I think some Panthers. Yeah. So here are the Panthers. Some of the pieces did get kind of dinged up, so there's paint missing from them. But, you know, still some pretty cool stuff right here. Half tracks, Stoogies. And here are the fenders for some T-34s I busted off, so I need to reattach those someday. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I have so far for my collection. Just thought I'd share y'all with the other mini paint project I did yesterday. So, with that, I'm going to leave y'all alone, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.